to... Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. We are back for another week of bangers. Oh, well, <laughs> this one's a banger. As far as I'm aware, the other four are going to be the usual kind of subpar. But this one, I have a feeling is going to be the good one of the week. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good to be here with y'all. Sponsored by Gamersup, who we love. Okay. Yeah, All right. Right. Give it up. We love them. Um... Let's see. Well, tomorrow, we're, there's no member stream, I'll say that, but the reason is, is because I'm going to meet Cav Cav, Ryan Kavanaugh. Take and care. I will be packing with me a $1 million check for hu Habitat huma for Humanity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have him co-sponsor uh, it with me. Thank you. I'll also be bringing with me... Uh, some papers, printed out papers of him side by side with uh, Harvey Weinstein to help differentiate the mediator and the ju and the lawyers so that they can tell we are not, we are talking to Ryan Kavanaugh and not Harvey Weinstein. That is. <laughs> Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature. I'm also bringing a little device in my pocket that plays just a bowl sound. I click it and it goes, oh, you know what? I'll change my ringtone to and then I'll have you guys call me occasionally. <laughs> I'll be like, you hear that, Ryan? Is that a bull? I didn't know. Wait, hold on. Do you have a live feed open of your living room? What's going on? Oh, sorry. That's just my ringtone. My bad. Yeah. You only hear about that in movies. Like, I, I personally, until I, this video, I've never heard of that being a real thing. Like a hands free well, Egypt. Hold on. Um C Man jizzed his pants from just from seeing hot feet. Hands free? Yeah, it seemed like it was hands free. He jizzed on the floor. Yeah. Hands free, baby. Down his leg. Down his leg, right onto the grocery store floor. Which is so vile. So fucking vile. Imagine you're walking down like the frozen aisle. You slip in some mystery <laughs> goo. You're like, hmm. Somebody uh, spill milk here? She was super duper duper hot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, I met uh, I met a girl who's a streamer. I went up to her, I hugged her, and I came in my pants. Dude, please, bro. Don't ever say that again. Don't ever say that. So people were trying to speculate who it was about. Apparently, people were saying it was Cutie Cinderella, and she's like, I don't know who this guy is. And then I think they figured out, he was her mod, by the way. They found out who it was. I don't know if I should say. I know who she is. I mean, I know of her. But she's an, I think she's an OnlyFans girl. That's gotta, I wonder if that's like a good orgasm, though, or if it's like, it's gotta be like, Maybe this is the first time anyone else has ever made him orgasm, so for him, it's like sex. He feels like maybe they had sex. I mean, look how proud he is. I'm, I mean, I'm making the assumption here. I, uh, no whack against the guy, but this might have been his first experience with the opposite sex. First time touching a girl. Yeah. First time touching a girl? First time hugging a girl? That can't be. A girl who's a I, I have I'm sh I'm I have no problem believing he's never like kissed or touched in a you know sexual way. I went up to her, I hugged her, and I came in my pants. God, I'd like to be there and see that all down go down. <laughs> like, did he did he try to hide it? Did he run away? Mm. Did she feel the moisture during the hug? Yeah. I know it's gross, God. but these are things we have to think about. Was he expressive, I wonder? Did he, yeah, did he have like a cum face? Or a sound? Did he make a sound? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> like imagine, he, I mean, I assume his, <sighs> his mouth was like by the streamer's ear when he hugged her. Oh, Like that makes me want to die. Imagine he's like, I just came in my pants. <laughs> oh. I would pay a mess. That is vile, that is vile, yeah. Oh. But it's kind of sad for Twitch mods everywhere because here is a guy mod who's modding for a girl and this man's just out here being like, yeah, I came in my pants when I smelled her hair. 
in another interview, I'm reading that he's admitted to doing this multiple times. <laughs> First time he met her, he hugged her. Another time at a party. Wait, he came in his pants on different. He came in his pants on different occasions. Yeah. He's admitted to okay, this so, multiple times. Yeah. Okay, so he's planning. If or I don't want to draw any conclusions, you... but this gets weird, in my opinion. Yeah. If he, if this is a something that he's been doing, then he's like a sexual deviant. Right. This is deviancy. Mm. Now, uh, apparently, there's another video of him talking about doing it before. Can we pull that? Uh, yeah, I have. Let, let me see. I want to see if it gets claimed. Li somebody said I can't control my goo. Literally. Oh my! I can't control my goo. That's literally him. Did he do the ahigo face? No. Oh my god, she's got to feel so fucking nasty about that. Ugh. That is so gross. Somebody asks, is that sexual harassment? I don't know. What? What? Is, I don't know. It's violating as hell. It's especially that he's talking about it now. The fact that he did it a second time is like, okay, what's going on here? Once, what's going Once on Once is here? a mistake. Mm. Involuntary reaction, yeah, but I suppose. Second, yeah, right. I'm trying to dig up the other video. Um, he says it in the first few seconds, so I think it'll be okay. But um, w what is there other stuff going on here? Taking a virgin Twitch simp to strip club? Oh my god! Well, there was what at one time. I Wait, what the fuck is this? Built different? What is this video? It was linked in this Dexerto article. Okay, this is built different. Uh, when I met St Peach, she gave me a hug. <laughs> I met her the first time, and uh, I ended up choosing my pants. Okay, so... Okay, so hold on. What's the time difference between these two clips? Is, are we sure he's not talking about the same t thing? Let's this is, here, a, let's this is from a year ago. Uh, later in the video, he talks about um, another time he was at a party and the same thing happened. Oh, well, find that. I ended up leaving the convention, going back to my hotel room, changing my underwear and my pants, and then going back to the convention. <laughs> I think one other time, uh, this was like... Why are you saying this? What, how do you think she's gonna feel about this, dude? Like, I'm assuming you like knowing her. She's not gonna wanna fucking ever see you, dude, if you keep coming in your pants every time you smell her fucking breath or whatever. This is so vile, dude. Do not come. Exactly, it's that easy. The third TwitchCon, but this was like at a party when I was drunk. Dude, why? What is this face? He's doing the same face. He thinks he's cool or something. I don't know. It's hard to. I just came in my. Isn't there a song about I just came in my pants? Wait, so what's in my pants. In my pants. In my pants. I want to know what's different about coming in your pants at a party when you're drunk versus when you're at a convention. I'm I'm waiting. Oh, it's. I need to know. It's all in the intro, actually. Okay, Hold I'm gonna, on, well, I, this I'm is coming. great. I mean, this is phenomenal. It's an important distinction. To be honest, I want to watch this whole video. How was he at the strip club? He needs to wear like a swimming suit. Did he do a special because... trick at the, at the strip club? Did he do his thing? Did he come his pants at the strip club? Yeah. But I was saying, this man needs a wetsuit or a swimsuit or something because... He needs to go from six to midnight, my friend. Who's, nobody's got that much underwear. He's going to have to bring a change of underwear with him. <laughs> Although we did discuss this before when a stripper called in, and there are dudes, dudes be jizzing their pants in the strip club. Come. We established that. There's Malik on door watch. Someone want to go test the, um, the door he fixed? Yeah, AB's going to go pop in there and give us an update on the door. Yeah. We, uh, there was a bunch of girls dancing up on me, and then I just... I... Oh shit, there's a video of it? Holy fuck. Holy shit. Yeah. No, not of the moment, is it? It looked like... Okay, hold on. I hope not. This dude is speechless, by the way. Which is... Okay, here's AB. Go ahead. Closing the door. Looks seamless, there you looks go. clean. Opening and the door. And there it is. Did wow. You, did you lock it? There it is. He's going to lock it this time. It fell off. Is that, did that fall off? 
Okay. Questionable craftsmanship. Did the handle fall off, AB? I don't think he can hear it very well over there. Yeah, we need the handle to stay on, Malik. <laughs> that that's part he of the said deal. He can explain that. He said he can explain. <laughs> that, that's part of the deal, dude. The handle needs to stay on. <laughs> Wait, what happened, AB? <laughs> I don't think he's done. So Jer <laughs> Jeremiah was in there, and I shut it, and I was like, and he goes, oh, it'd be funny if we got locked in here. And I was like, huh, and I did that, and the door the door handle came off. <laughs> Malik hey. said it's a manufacturer defect. He said he can explain it. He said he can explain it, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said we need to return that one. The handle's defective? He the says, handle is yeah. defective. He says he's putting, believe it or not, the handle is actually defective. One in a million, <laughs> he says. <laughs> but it is real. He says it's a one in a million. <laughs> That's awesome. I believe him. We should put him on blast. Who and made Malik that, wants Who made that a, handle? Uh, Malik wants a crusade against the handle manufacturers. <laughs> Universal hardware is being called out by Malik. One in a million. That's a UA handle? Universal hardware. <laughs> That's so funny. Although, to be fair, he, does, he fixed the other ones. So. Yeah, it's, the a, other it's a Hampton product. product. It's, a, it's a Hampton product. Is it, put, is it possible AB broke it? He does break door. He says no. Here it is. Door hardware. Let's view the door hardware. No reviews. Zero stars. Not until now. One star. Broke. Defective. One in a million no. chance. <laughs> you think it's a heavy duty commercial curved or a heavy duty commercial flat lever? What do you keep what going do you down? It, he. I remember ours had the key. Oh, with the deadbolt combo. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. it's that one. The deadbolt combo. Mm, interesting. Yeah, it's okay. I'm. I'm good. Yeah, we're gonna we're leaving a review, Malik. Okay, hell yeah. We're writing, we giving it one star. And, and which one is this? The uh, heavy duty. Uh, read the name to Malik, Dan. Uh, what was it? It was the uh, heavy duty lever Deadpool combo. Heavy, you got that? <laughs> heavy duty lever Deadpool combo. What do you? This one is actually just a handle, a passage handle. Just the handle, not a combo. Okay. Loving the the ambience of. <laughs> of shouting a conversation the across the studio. Okay, so maybe it's just you this. Think one, maybe right? just the heavy duty commercial. That's a one star handle. Hmm. Absolutely defective. Or maybe to be fair, we could say bot three one was defective. You know what I mean? My shit broke. Brought three of them, one was defective. You know, they're not gonna publish it if you write shit. Brought three of them, one was defective. I heard it's like a one in a million thing. Still, why me? Why me? <laughs> it's me. All right, I'm, I'm over it. Let's keep watching this guy. This guy's my... This guy rules in a weirdly fucked up way. <laughs> he rules in the same way the murder porn guy does. Maybe they should get a congregation together. Should we have a group call in? Yeah, group call in sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I, you be honest, I would like to talk to him too. Okay. Not as a group. Separate groups. I need to focus on murder one at porn. a time. <laughs> yeah, I'd, love to, I'd like to talk to him. Roger. Yeah. We, uh, there was a bunch of girls dancing up on me, and then I just, I, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's badass. Dallas, Gally. Oh, so that that's her, I guess. They're showing her. Uh. Why is Dallas banned? You're in love with me? Where's two hundred dollars? First time. Well, he's been a mod her. for several um, Twitch streamers, so. What is this compilation exactly? She's gonna enjoy it so much that- We're reading his name. And Dallas, yeah. why did you type this in Oh, that's in my his chat, name? Dude? Yeah. Like, what does Dallas's O-Face look like? That's what I wonder. It's probably like- Are they all talking about this? 
Yeah. Well, this is a year ago, so I don't know if they're talking about different. They all know this guy's coming as pants? <laughs> I guess he's, he's got a rap. As, according to this article, he's known as Twitch's biggest simp. And he was mm. a regular in many of Twitch's biggest female streamers' broadcasts. Sad I come my pants in public once, never made a face. So this is kind of his thing. This is his claim to fame. Dallas Galley. I'm the dude that Whoa. jizzed my pants. It's his special come. little trick. Whoa. Thank you. I feel like I was there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dallas. I, I have a lot of questions for you. I, I really want to psychoanalyze this. I want to get... I'm gonna come! I don't want to just know about the coming in the pants. I want to know why the come in the pants. I want to know, was there planning in the come in the pants? How many times have we done this? Does he come other ways? Hmm. Scally, I'm a 27-year-old virgin, and I'm built different. That's for sure. I am very well known by a lot of people, yeah. Why do you think Wait, that? Wait, he genuinely thinks... Okay, I see what's going on here. This is his claim to fame. He's obsessed with Twitch streamers. They're all famous. This is... He's known for this. He likes being known for something. At least it's not murder. That's really? why a lot of serial killers do it. This right. guy's just a serial pants jizzer, which is a lot better. Murder porn. <laughs> than murder porn. That is. I don't know, because of the things that I say. Subscribe to Pornhub now. Do you watch porn at all? Uh, no. Hey, I'm a very unique individual. Stop that. Hey there, Haley, what's it like in Minnesota? Yeah. Oh, boy. Tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Or is that him? What people think about you? No, not really. You look like uh, shit, man. What the <laughs> hell? Uh, th Fifty Shades of Grey. I love it, man. It's cute. Not having a girlfriend and being horny <laughs> and don't fap is torture. I want to die. Oh my god. Fuck having a sex drive. Sometimes I wish I was asexual. Can't do. This man would be like a physicist working on the highest level of science if mm -hmm. this man. Was asexual. He's like <laughs> Harvard PhD in astrophysics. <laughs> Instead, he's just coming in his pants by hugging streamers. Those out. eggshells. Hey, uh, uh, Reach, what does it sound like when you come in your pants? Oh, squeaking. That's not okay. All right. You got me. <laughs> now do the one where he goes. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Do anything right now because of my erection. <coughs> Fuck you, five inch dick. Go down, you horny piece of shit. What was going through your mind when you sent that? Good uh, question. well. Do you sub to any OnlyFans at all? Uh, no. So why are you so. Why is he lying? He's so honest, but now he's lying to us. So horny then. To be honest, I haven't been in a relationship in like 10 years. Uh, haven't really done anything with a girl in like that long, so that's probably why. When was the last time you masturbated? When I was 17. Bro, no way! Well, if this is true, no wonder he's walking around jizzing I his guess pants. that would explain the uh, physiology of it a little bit. But like, why- how could he, this dude, who is apparently tweeting about how horny is not Masturbate. It's not possible. Does jizzing in your pants count? No. Technically? Well. Right. What, is, what is this? Just a compilation of his cute pics? This is from his Instagram. Uh, that's just his Instagram because I was scrolling through to see his if it's safe for pics. work. It is if you just want to go to his Insta. It's uh, pretty epic. I don't believe it. Why don't you just jerk off? Because, like, obviously. You not doing that is not helping anybody. We need you jerking off. <laughs> it's just, it's better for everybody. Oh my god. This dude jizz in his pants 20 times this day. <laughs> but if you scroll down, he does a lot of these. Who's gonna hug you, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of these like laying in bed shots. A little bit further down. 
Oh my god. Yeah, these. There's so many. <laughs> Ooh, mid sleep. I used to hit those in middle school. Is he coming in every photo? I'm confused. <laughs> no. No, only some. He seems like a type of dude that just likes any attention, so I, I think he'll be happy with this and also to call in. I would really like to ask him questions. <laughs> I think he's gonna watch this and bust a nut. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Virtual e -jack. Wow. Pretty repetitive feed. There's so many. Oh my Real interesting. Are you announcing he's going live or something? Yeah, yeah he's on Twitch. What, okay, that's what's going on here. That explains it okay. at least a little bit. So I haven't seen him with a girl, but I, he's, he must have jizzed his pants on this one. Like, holy shit. That was like his Super Bowl. <laughs> it's just recent too, right? He might even be touching No, him. this one's a little bit older. Oh, let me read this. I was so lucky to not only know but meet two of the ladies who have helped motivate me and kept me staying positive in life. That's one way to put coming in your pants. <laughs> Thank you to these two ladies for not only being a positive influence on me in life, but always being such kind friends. Very lucky to not only know two of the nicest but prettiest ladies. I'm everywhere in my room. You always have my support <laughs> and love for everything you both do. You both have really helped me in becoming a better person. Okay, that's nice. Post not clarity. Yeah. The guy in the background, the back left, looks like he might have just busted a nut, too. <laughs> left? I must say that I've had some post-coital <laughs> regrets about <laughs> that, that phrase. Some pictures he looks, like, handsome and fine. I feel like if this guy just put, get his shit together a little bit, he would be, like, have no problem. You know? That's the thing with all these incels. It's, like, most of these incels are not, like, hideous, irredeemable, like, not a uh, hundred back of Nostradamus looking motherfuckers. They're you know, normal looking, like not worse. Like, you know, I, if I did something with this face, it's, it's possible for everybody. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. Yeah. I mean, listen, people are making jokes about how ugly I am. I'm a punchline. So if I can do it, you could do it. Think. Just stop nodding your oh, pants. Oh shit, here's another one with a girl. Oh no, she has no idea. She has no idea. It's full E-Jack right there. Are we sure that's not a family member at Christmas? <laughs> Alright, well let me read. Oh, spend some time with my mom. <laughs> oh, that sick <laughs> fuck! <laughs> no! His mom's kind of hot. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Listen, sometimes, and you know, I'm not even going to say that joke. Mom, I want a vape. <laughs> spend some time with my mom today. I always enjoy the time I spend with my family. I admit I'm worried that when I move away, my mom is going to struggle without me. This is mommy. The, I, the, mommy did this to him. Not in like a sexual way, but I'm just saying like there was some coddling that happened here that really put this man on a path of uh, pants so, jizzing. Like what did you say? Norman Bates of uh, Jackie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm done watching it, by the way. <laughs> all, the poor, all the comments are about spunking his pants now. Damn it. But that's why you don't go around bragging about this stuff. Wow. Hug you. I went up to her, I hugged her, and I came in my pants. Wow. Hug you. I think that's a cherished memory for him. I, 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 I gotta Bad know why. This guy. I'm not gonna lie. What? I don't get good vibes from this guy. No, no, no. Of course not. But I do want to talk to him. I want, why are why? you not masturbating? Why do you want to talk to him? Well, okay, let's, because, like, listen, Jordan Peterson can't be the only one reaching out to men in, across the world. You know, we need to be these positive uh, role model for these disenfranchised young This isn't, like, young a normal, men. like, dude, though. Like, he's... No. Clearly, just, you want him to go black pilled, or do you want him to come back to the light? I don't know. He just seems like a big attention seeker to me. I yeah, think he's I know that. into it because he just wants to be famous. But he also seems honest to a fault, which is good for no, someone that I want to talk. I think to. he's lying about a lot of stuff too, though. Like you, you said so yourself. He's definitely lying about not being subscribed to girls only fans and like. Maybe he's telling the truth it. though. Would that be interesting? If he doesn't masturbate in ten years, I think he's lying. I personally am fascinated. I, I understand everything you're saying, and I proceed with caution. By the way, this is his Happy Mother's Day post. Yeah. 
Does that include your hot mom? <laughs> the next post I sent is for Dan. For me? For you. He's talking to you. He might have a future with James Charles if he's willing to go that route. Armpit hair. Love that. Good for him. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Why is this one for Dan? Because the caption. Working hard, but getting very little sleep, but feeling better. Haters gonna hate, but nothing's stopping me. <laughs> That's Dan. You're a hater, and I'm here to help. Yeah, the, the fact that nothing's stopping you is what makes you so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> maybe less motivated. Yeah, no. Maybe think about stopping, I actually. I can't stand Dan. Consider it. <laughs> Dan, This guy's gonna me. call into Rich Lux. <laughs> I personally would love to talk to this guy. I hear what you're saying, but he's so fascinating. We can tell if he's lying. Why we'll is he fascinating? He's not fascinating. He is. What do you find fascinating about him? Uh, everything I've been talking about already. Okay. Well, we we enough. clearly disagree on this. I, I need to talk to him. Would you find the murder porn guy fascinating? I don't want to talk to that guy. I do. We already okay. said we're reaching out. <laughs> All right, well, that's you. Don't worry. You don't have to talk. You can mute your mic and your headphones. You don't have to listen. <laughs> God damn, I am so fucking hot, he said. Murder porn. Yeah, I mean you do look you look do look decent. That's why this whole thing is so odd. Giving a pro Jared? Give him something. You know what I just realized? Pro Jared looks like um Who's the Muppet baby with the hook nose? Gonzo? Yeah, he looks like Gonzo. Pro Jared? I thought you were going to... He looks more like, um... Hmm. He, he strikes me more of a... As a, um... <laughs> as a beaker. Yeah. He looks like <laughs> pro Jared and Bryce Hall fused. Because he's very, he's very narrow and, and, and long. You know what I mean? I see that. Reminds me of this guy. But I'm telling you, pro Jared was fucking everybody, dude. And I'm not calling him ugly or anything, because I would never do that, but... He's definitely got an interesting look, I can say that. <laughs> do you see the, 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 the... Do you see the Gonzo? I, I do, I do. I still, I see more Beaker still, but I see what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Bro, Jared, he's a fucking man. <laughs> Sin... It's what was his man, uh, private Discord it's channel? Sin Jared, yeah. Sin Jared. Sin Jared. Oh my god. Sin Jared, man. It's still such a mystery to me that people forgave him. That's so weird. He's completely forgiven? Yeah, Not everyone really. will turn in all the commentary shows like, we were wrong, we apologize. Everybody used to apologize to pro Jared. I even don't even remember why. Sin. He's crushing it, though. Good for him. Sin. Sin Jared. Sin. Sin Jared. Well... We could do a poll. Should we do a poll? Maybe people don't want to talk to him. I think it'd be well, I don't know. I mean, if you, you're gonna have to. if you want to talk to him, talk to him. I just it could be fun. Interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. He is fascinating. There's when have you ever met I don't, someone like him, Dan? I mean, a guy who jizzes in his pants all the time and talks about it openly. <laughs> I guess I haven't met one. There you so go. You bada bing, bada boom. It's a gold I, mine. I, I was happy keeping it that way, but if you're gonna invite him on, then it's a gold mine, Daniel. Uh, what did you, you want me to ask if people want the pants chising guy to come Yeah, in? pants chising guy and then the murder. Do you guy. want, what, do you want Ethan to talk to the pants chising guy? Is yeah. that a good poll? Yeah. Do you want Ethan to talk to the pants jizzing guy? Yes, no. Blair Winter said, I feel like some of these e-girl super fans lie about being virgins and hope that they do a F.A. fan video. Who does that? F.A. fan? By the way, I have no trouble believing that guy's virgin, by the way, either. It's not like... F a fan? I just found out he has a OnlyFans. It's all a gimmick. Oh, then he's That's lying. That's why it's not interesting then to me. Lying. It's all why a gimmick. It it's like... Why does it lie? Wait, he okay, found, okay. He found his way. It's just like, it's, this, it's the clout hunger, once again. It's just like these people will go to any lengths to be famous, and like, 
even if it's extremely embarrassing, it's like, oh, I can be the guy who jizzes in his pants all you the time. You made me defend his But movie. you're kind of explaining <laughs> Jimmy Lee, too. Not obviously the sexual part, I but also he just don't wants like Jimmy to be Lee. famous. We know this. But it's interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jimmy Lee is interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, don't I'll give you, you that. dare say. It doesn't Jimmy take Lee away doesn't, from... like, borderline sexually assault people. He just verbally I beg to them. differ. Were you with me in that deli? <laughs> My original uh, video. I wasn't. Yeah. I, okay. And he's like, never I'm mind. gonna take you back. I want to have sex with you, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm not gonna call you. I don't remember. <laughs> so weird. It just, it's just not. Yeah. It's not that he's a creep, <laughs> though he is. It, again, it's just. It just seems like he's just trying to be f just another person doing whatever they can to get famous. So here's the thing. He has an OnlyFans, so he's definitely lying. Yeah. It's yeah. That's the that's up. He's just a cummy clout goblin, dude. The whole thing could just be made up, Boomer. frankly. It's just a way to get attention. Well, okay. maybe, maybe he's OnlyFans. Well, hold on. It, what, what kind of content is OnlyFans? He's, the, the fact that he's on the website at all, mm -hmm. he's definitely, you know what I mean? He goes, oh, I haven't looked at porn in 10 years. You're, you have an OnlyFans account. Right. That's like yeah. literally seems, impossible. It stretches believability a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, he just did he just donate? That's him. No, no, this is just oh, okay. from... Here's a message. He says, I will now be doing custom vids and picks. Charge rate will be $25 per pick and 100 per custom video. DM me. Should we get him to do one for us? <laughs> that would be kind of epic. <laughs> Somebody said coming for clout. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The dude, he found his angle. He's coming for clout. <laughs> Somebody said Jimmy Lee is extremely nuanced. I agree. I need that clout. He's three-dimensional. He's four-dimensional. Yeah, what no, about... Jimmy, Jimmy's definitely more interesting <laughs> than this guy. I don't know if maybe looking at his Amazon wish list, will that change your mind? Or potentially leaning... I want to see his wish list. <laughs> is it safe for work? <laughs> How did you uh, come across that? I'm going in deep. Or um, just have it on Can I look at this? Profile, I guess? Uh, the first page you can. <laughs> So he wants he wants his sugar daddies wait, or wait, babies. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> what did you see? Oh, the, that is just not showing far. anything. Yeah, it's okay. just, yeah. No, there's one item on here that's a little. He just wants gadgets. Got grandpa feeling a little frisky. <laughs> he got rock band. He wants a camera. Yeah, wants... it was all like very. It was like Pokemon, and then it's Ew, like. Ew, <laughs> dude. <laughs> wait, show this. Pokemon fashion that cute is, girl pillowcase. That case. is cool. Bro, you're fucked. That's just too far. All right, take it off. I'm gonna go down. He wants Pokemon plushie set. Slim fit, ripped, distressed skinny jeans. jeans. Skinny jeans. A big screen TV. Is that? I don't see any other. That's it. Oh, I think you you missed it. Where's the one I missed? Um, it'd be item number four. One, two, three, four. Heavy duty luggage slashing strap holder <laughs> for bulky items. <laughs> I thought that that's was for something else. It yeah, I'm clicking it. I don't. Murder porn. Wait, I don't. No, think, that's just. No, yeah. it's not. I was mistaken. It's just an innocent item. Okay, the guy's in the clear. Well, anyway, the people have spoken. They think he's not worthy of the call. It's looking close, but it does look like a no. Is all right, fans of Dallas, get your votes in. <laughs> Wait, is this a poll between uh, the murder porn dude or no? This okay. is no, just. No, no, okay. It's just. Jizz in um, the pants interesting uh, super chat from Sydney. I went to high school with the murder porn dude, and he was a bully. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean that's he's a psychopath. He seems like we just watched him. Bar we just watched him barge into someone's house and shit on them in their own home. <laughs> he's worse than a bully. Apparently, he killed people. I was bullied allegedly. Well, he kind of like Ten. vaguely alluded to it. B bullying's the least fucking worst thing he's done in his murder life. Murder porn. <laughs> yeah. I, used to watch <laughs> I wish he was just porn. a bully. <laughs> all right, so let's wrap up the jizz in the pants guy then. All right, all right. But now let's go I to mean, murder porn guy. I, I was, I was trying to stay quiet because I didn't want to th throw water on your excitement for it. It's okay. I, but I, listen, it, he just does. He just seems like he's. I'm disappointed. Another goblin, dude. He's yeah. goblining. I think I'm a man of the Walk people. Itis. I think you guys are underestimating how good that conversation could be. And remember, you can always turn it off. We could always hang up, you know what I mean? I, Dan, I don't mean to go against you here. I agree with Ethan, though. I think it'd be a very fascinating conversation. Oh, it, listen, yeah. this is Ethan's show. If he wants to talk to the jizz pants guy, he's more than welcome to. I was just, I was just Well, listen, that. no, I'm a man of the people. If people don't want to watch it, well, sometimes the people don't know what they want. 
once they hear uh, that sure. this guy talk, sure. then they go, wow, this is this guy's amazing. We've, we've had I don't know. we've had many conversations with you know uh, what what traditional society might deem deviants on mm -hmm. the show, and it's been a wonderful time. I mm -hmm. love the Seaman call-ins. You know what I mean? Like I, I got no problem with it on face value, but I just the vibes are just off with this one. I don't know. The vibes let's, are off. Okay, let's let's That's all I can say. Let's move on to the murder porn guy and see if that one shakes out. Because if, <laughs> oh, if you guys, want to pull the mur murder porn dude, yeah. If you guys say no to both, then then hmm. I'm just gonna have to make my own decision. Right? Do you? Oh, you don't want, me, want man. Ethan to talk to the murder porn guy? I know you're gonna be annoyed with me saying this, but really, if it's between those two, definitely the jizz pantsing guy. Murder porn. Oh, really? Over the murder guy? The oh, guy seems dangerous. I, I, I gotta, I gotta heavily person. disagree with that. We need the murder. You guy. would rather that talk guy, to the murder absolutely. porn guy? Yeah, yeah, Bro, that's like getting a chance to talk to like um, Charles Manson. Yeah, exactly. He's like leading a call. The other guy's just like busting a nut. Dude, the FBI is going to ana analyze our fucking interview with him. Well, yeah. talk fuck it. Let, let's right. do it in person. Fuck it. I'm curious. What's <laughs> no, the downside? No. Down? According no. to you. All right, I'm throwing up. I'm throwing up the murder porn guy. That interview would definitely be in a true crime documentary, like ten. Yeah, that's what I was. That's all I've been thinking. <laughs> so far, the murder what? porn guy is looking more promising. What's the downside, according to you, Don? He Here comes is. and kills us. Yeah, no, I mean, like <laughs> that's the, the your... just pants guy is just embarrassing. It's, this <laughs> yeah. is like a whole other fucking level. Although well, you never know, you, uh, you never know. Dan, the just pants guy could be the one killing people. You just never. It's know. always the quiet yeah, one. True, you never know. You never know. People said Ted uh, Kaczynski was a charmer. You're right. <laughs> you said statistically, that. somebody in this room may have killed somebody at some point. Statistically, I just yeah. that cannot be true. You're telling me ten percent of all people are murderers? <laughs> Crazy <What>? statistic. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, that's that's wild. Up. Is it you, Dan? Murderer. <clears throat> no. Murderer. No. No. What percent <laughs> of USA population has committed murder? Those are the ones we know about, Ethan. Fair. We, we should add manslaughter. Does it include like war? I gotta ask ChatGPT. Could someone ask ChatGPT that? It's yeah, like, I'm on it. If you've ever it, how many excluding somebody. war, excluding war. Exclu oh, well, that's. I think Dan was considering that. Mm. Ugly, you are disgusting. No, I'm gonna kill yeah, you. what percentage you of people have killed, has killed someone the in their yeah. life by any means? No, no, no. Ex war no, it's got to be by any means. War does not count. It definitely counts. We're talking about in society because that's like you know that's like that kind of murder is like cool. <laughs> that's like cool murder. <laughs> that's the sanction. That's the cool stuff. Oh, Ted Bundy is who I meant. Yeah, my bad. Um, well, people are in favor of the murder porn guys, so let's continue with that reaching out. <laughs> the logic in our chat is so funny. <laughs> like, yeah, not the guy, not not the incel, but the guy that murders people. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Bring him on. Chappie, GPT has nothing. What did ChatGPT say? They said we need to be more specific. What did um, you ask it? Well, first I said what percentage of uh, people have killed someone? Percent. And then excluding war, what percentage? Say people? what population? Of it's the obviously United... gonna. I, ah! I was joking. Like that's it. That, it's gonna be like point zero one percent or something. Well, I'm actually curious now. You got you sent me down a path, and what now? You want oh, me to turn away? Oh, Five boy. percent. Let me try asking it. How many people be killing? Uh, people are very down for the murder porn. It's, yeah. It, there's, it's a more enthusiastic yes than it was a no for the pants jizz. All right, so we'll start there. If you guys love the murder porn guy, then murder maybe we can move, out, move on to the jerk-off jizz guy. There's more of a mystery there. There's more to unravel. The jerk-off jizz guy, for lack of a better term, already blew his load of interest. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we know yeah, it. he jumped yeah, the shark, he yeah. came his pants. We know, what, we know the story there. I feel like I could have an interesting combo with him, but what do I know? I would like to see that. Me All right. Too. All right. Well, there it is. The incels are so 2022. That's right. We're moving on to just straight up fucking cult leaders on this. If podcast. you're going to be an incel, you might as well kill him while you're at it. All right. We don't like people who half measure. <laughs> no half measures. All right. Let's watch some. No half stuff. senders. No half senders. No yeah. half senders in this house. <laughs> uh, wait. Rice gum reacts to a clip of meeting AB. Is that right? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> and the, him and Faze Rug. Wait, what? is this recent? Uh, this, yeah, he recently reacted to this, I think like a week ago, but this From happened at TwitchCon. I remember year. when it happened, you yeah, told yeah. us about it. So you weren't lying, I just assumed you were lying. 
Yeah. I'm just kidding. That's why I'm, I walked back. I was like, I got to get this shit on camera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. you Did you film it? I don't remember. Streamers live. Of course. What's up, dude? See, I'm so nice. I said, yo, look at me from behind. <laughs> yo, guys, am I drippy? This face run. Okay, you were kind of fanboying. Oh, yeah, because I'm just I'm walking down the street and I see rice gum. You're like, what's up, Rice? <laughs> I'm like, what's, yeah, what am I? He's with me. Like, up. No, that's what I was saying what up to him. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I work for Ethan. I work for H3. Oh, that's a, okay. Let me watch this. Again. See, I'm so nice. I said, yo, look at me uh, from behind. <laughs> yo, guys, am I drippy? This face run. Are you drippy? You're just wearing a white hoodie. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Not at all. You want to see drip? Eva bought me these sandals. Those are extremely I did notice the new shoes. Keep backing up. Keep backing up a little more. And by the way, now nobody's gonna be in here calling me short because I'm base. Usually I'm barefoot in here practically. Now I got some real shoes on, and mm -hmm. I'm towering over everybody. Ethan yeah, walked dude. out of the bathroom today, looks at me, and goes, "What's up, bro?" And I'm like, "What's up?" <laughs> I didn't realize what he was doing, but he was taller. I'm like, oh. I'm hella tall. I, even Zach was looking kind of small to me. Okay. Look at the grip on those bad boys, dude. Oh, yeah. You can go off-roading and shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. You just put, you That's make nice. them a little tighter and you're ready for a marathon. Your <laughs> foot has that extra, it has that extra strap so it doesn't fall off yeah. under the table. Yeah. <laughs> How many doors are you going to kick in with those? All of them? Oh, go you know what I was thinking? It'd be funny if someone went and broke the door he fixed right now. <laughs> no. I, mm. please don't. Got it. What's wrong with that idea? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> AB, you feeling it? I had the feeling in my back of my head that you might do that, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I'm not doing it. But once they fix it, that you might just go knock it down. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's watch this. How are you? Yo, is slow mode on? Yo, yo, can we turn off slow mode? Thank, Thank you, nice to meet you. What's up, guys? I want to finish three. You guys, me and Sue. Oh, okay, hell yeah. Cool. Love, dude. See you guys. Yo, why is rug? No, look, guys, guys, guys. I just got exposed bad, all right? You guys look at this, all right? Some fan c c came up. Look at rug. He's hella nice. Look at rug. Hey, how are you? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet What's you. Up? This Rug is so weird. He's <laughs> just like randomly reacting to your footage. Yeah, why is, how did this come to be? <laughs> this is I, so, so bizarre. Uh, this is clipped on my Twitch channel. Maybe someone sent it in his Discord. I didn't see the full stream. I just saw this on our subreddit. But yeah, what I don't know. He's just- That's he, so random. But yeah, I could- like when I saw him that day, I could tell he was a little jumpy, which is weird because it was just me and Lena, and then he was with like a whole group of people. But he kind of talks about being nervous <laughs> of the, uh, the ops at the time. But he didn't really acknowledge that I said I work for you, so I found that surprising. Let me finish this. Dylan, nice to meet you. Look at me, bro. My face got a straight face on. Look, oh, look, look, look. You guys have to look at my energy versus Rugs' energy, yeah? Look. How are you? Thank you. Nice. Uh, yeah, Rugs seems like a great guy. Rugs a king. Rug does seem very nice. Yeah, you yeah. you correctly identified that. Mm -hmm. right. Nice to meet you. Sorry, bro. I want to you guys. Bro, rug smiling. I'm out here looking. Yo, I was scared. Yo, I was scared of the ops, bro. I swear to God, look at me, bro. I'm looking around and my eyes big like little Dirk type shit. Bro, <laughs> rug smiling. He got no ops. Rug got no ops. Me, I have to watch my back. You don't worry. No, no. <laughs> There's no ops. <laughs> There's no ops for rice gum. Okay, that's so random, huh? <laughs> it was Very super random. random yeah. <laughs> Kanye and his new wife. Did you guys know he got married? Like married? This is so. Oh my god. Now what? <laughs> it's an abomination. So the shoulder pads thing is kind of a what? And the tights? Holy shit! This man was like, I want to look as fucked up as possible. Love. The tights? The tights Love. into the shoe. The like sock shoe. Right. <laughs> he looks like a Roblox Love. character. I'm sorry. And then this here is quite interesting. Fucking sick, dude. So it's like a turd about poking out of the butthole. He's wearing like hockey pads too, or like football pads. Yo, are your shoulders that big? You look good. I'm glad everybody hates him now. <laughs> now what? I'm just really glad. Is that a true statement? Everybody hates him? I mean, not everybody, obviously, but 
Babel and is Reach. Is he anywhere near the popularity or Babel and Reach love him. that he was a few years ago? Definitely not. Babel and Reach are like, yo, this guy is say, spitting facts. Y'all should be listening closer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this shit is crazy. I don't know why the fuck you would do this. Oh my god. Why? Oh my god, this fucking video, bro. This is not better than shaving. Who told oh. you this was better than shaving? <laughs> shaving is... He's a hairy ass dude, too. Oh no. Can we do this to you? Fuck no. That would be so painful. He's like bleeding, I think, when they take it off. I would not do this. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, man. And there's no escape. I mean, there's only one way out of that. Murder porn. Is this murder porn? Oh my god. Dude, why? Why, why, why? He's in a barber shop. This is like a service they offer. But why? <laughs> okay. I can't watch it anymore. It's so uncomfortable. I hate it. And I'm out. <laughs> How about you, Dan? If I get down to 180, can we wax your face? 180? Yeah. That's my target weight. Let's let's deal with the let's one step at a time. We'll we'll talk after the mayo. Okay. We'll talk we set up a mayo. new benchmark though for 180. Dan should mayo up that dome. Now, the thing is, the mayo thing is, like, humiliating and kind of gross, but it's, it doesn't hurt. Wait, AB, you would do that? I'd do it for the show. You would? Yeah. Oof. I almost feel bad. I mean, I do want to see it, I, but it looks so painful, Give dude. me pain any time over eating shit. I will, eat, I will oh, go through any pain. Interesting. But we'd have, to, we'd have to probably trim your beard, right? Because that would be super painful to do it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do it with the full beard. Fuck it, do it. Or I wonder, no. I wonder if... <laughs> I'm no. telling you, I do not care about pain. I just, I don't like eating shit. I, I wonder I if like it'd be... up your skin, like, permanently. It's like, fuck nah. it. Will it? Nah. I mean, people get waxed all the time on, like, on, sensitive areas. On your face? On your cheeks? It's so well, thick. Well, I mean... The skin is so Girl. sensitive there. Like the skin is sensitive. Uh, Hello, Dan. Yeah. I know Hello. Like, people get like Brazilians or whatever, but uh, still, I don't. Dude, know. women maybe, get maybe their gooch Maybe it's not a big deal. Wax, it just bro. It seems like that would be. I mean, fucking horrible. yeah, painful. Jamie Gooch. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so wait. So, Ab, I wonder if it'd be less painful with the beard at full length. I think it wouldn't stick at all. It wouldn't work as well. I think wouldn't stick. It down a little bit. Yeah, if you have like a lot of beard, it would like be would not pull off well. Before it, you get waxed, you have no. to trim your hair. Yeah, I, that is my understanding yeah. too. Good. You you would want to use like clippers to just buzz it down so that there's still stubble, and then you use yeah. the wax to rip it out. Yeah. Good. I mean, if you're down, you know I'll do it. I think it'd be, but God, I feel bad. Yeah, we could do it. One eighty. Lena, are you here? Yep, I'm here. What do you think about that? I think it'd be fun. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so joker brain. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Love that. All right, let's do it. Let's be Lena by the wax. Let's do it after break. 170 or 180? You want to do it after the break? Yeah, because I don't want to go home with a fucked up face. Okay, I'll hold off. <laughs> <laughs> this is your radio. Hey, this British kid set his whole yard on fire. Sounds interesting. Kids are dumb it, as it hell. It was going, bro. Bro, you are. Why? It, oh my god. Oh, why do people do this? <laughs> Man, kids are so dumb. It's like it's going. Wait, why <laughs> they throw? What the hell? <laughs> Wait, who did that? Oh my god. Everything was fine until they kicked it at the house. That was the Turkish fire brigade trying to put it out just that keeps fire. Getting worse. Stop kicking yeah, it just, around. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> What the what fuck? What is happening? They kicked it at the fence. Now the fence is on fire. Like, you would have thought that they would understand not to kick it anymore. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this 
is what happens when you get bored as a kid, man. Bad things. Oh, my lord. Fire! Let me see that one more time. Yeah, see? It's like, okay, cool. You got it. Right there. Why are you going back in for more? Well, his cannon is on fire. He drops it. That's fine. But now at this point, why? They both went to kick it at the same time. They both had that idea. Isn't that weird? And then homie comes, Whoa. kicks it at the fucking house. <laughs> it's the best. Was this their goal? Is this like a jackass thing? <laughs> I don't Insurance think Insurance so. fraud. I don't know. Insurance fraud? Oh, boy. Lightning lawn on fire? Oh, yeah. So we get an apple. We got hunger. We got Malik fixing our doors. Mysterious water bottle. What is this? Dude, I saw this. I'm not a conspiracy person. You guys know that about me. But I saw this and was like, yo, that's pretty sketch. Look at this. As always, the elite's doing the usual nothing to worry about. Now, bro, I'm not, I don't think they're drinking like baby blood or whatever the fuck you're implying. If anything, he's just drinking like steroids or something. Wait, so, okay. what? Okay, watch, watch, watch. Yeah, yeah. Can we play this? Yeah. Yeah, didn't get going. <laughs> All right, so here's these dudes in the purple shirt. They're putting together a drink. Okay? You'll see it. It'll make sense. Took a bottle out of his bag. He's doing it like pretty shadily down there on the ground. Putting stuff in it, pouring it in a different bottle, adding stuff. There's like three of them. Oh, now the guy in front of them's involved. There's four of them. Oh, they're covering up the shit? Then a fifth one behind them. So now they pass this bottle forward to the ball girl who runs it over. Oh. To the player who drinks it. Look at this. Now, at the same time, that's pretty brazen. It's not that sneaky. But it's pretty bizarre, don't you think? Like, what the fuck? I think the music definitely enhances the uh, creepy factor. Why is there five dudes sitting? Look how stressed out he looks. Yeah, the way they were covering that shit up, too, doesn't make any sense. Why would they be doing it from the stands? And then they got the ball girl on the, on the lamp, on the cut, I mean. And he's like, yeah, I know what that is. It's the blood of God. Right. What could be in a beverage that would enhance your performance? You know, I don't know. Cocaine? Amphetamine? Well, yeah. I mean, all kinds of things. Adrenochrome? Adrenochrome. Yeah, I mean, that seems like the most likely thing is that they're trying to get around the drug testing. Probably test before the game, and then they smuggle it in that way by having the... Uh, it's not that it over slick, there. though, at the same time. Yeah, they gotta know there's like a ton of cameras on them. They handed it to the well, ball girl. People it was are just like some girl. random cell phone camera right there, right? That was. Yeah, but I mean, they I thought don't they know. were being slick. Here's know. some details about it. Uh, November 2022, Novak was in semifinals round of the Paris Masters Tennis Open. The game was tied. Novak asked for a drink from the bench. Uh, okay, so Ulysses Badio, his physiotherapist, began to prepare it in the stands. Yeah. Who was caught on video. Physical trainer Marco Panici then appeared to warn his colleague to be more discreet while making the drink. The drink apparently worked as he went on to win the semifinal. The drink did it. So what's in the bottle? Even though people are skeptical of what might be in the bottle, is most likely some type of dietary supplement. July 2022, during Wimbledon tennis matches, people were asking the same question about what's in Novak's bottle. During his final rounds of the match, he was seen gesturing with his bottle to his coach's box before tipping it up and squeezing it into his mouth. Let me see that. This is deep. Here he is. He needs bottle. He needs more. We need more of whatever that was. Why would they need to mix it there? Wait, what the... Right. What? Why is he breathing into it? What is he doing? Was it like a gas? He was huffing. Yeah, that didn't... Yeah, that for sure seemed like he was inhaling, not okay. drinking. Well, he's telling them well, I need that more. That's weirder. Okay, let me watch this. I need more.
He definitely inhaled the, the air. Maybe he was just trying to get the last drops. Man, maybe. That was very weird. But you hold it upside down if you're trying to get drops. Yeah, I feel like that's... In terms of physics, that's not... Then he goes in for another huff. That Perhaps gamer subs? Super, yeah, gamer subs would win you a match. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking weird. Here's another clip that says everyone should watch this footage if you're interested in this. Oh god, 15 minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know Some for sh They've got all the receipts in this. <laughs> Good thing. Should I watch this? It's kind of epic. <laughs> I'm invested. Fuck it. Here, I'll just put it on times two. And we don't, it doesn't have audio, which I love. Oh, this, no, I, I had the mics down. I think it does. Open. Yeah, keep the conspiracy music going then. So the intro uh, slate says, This video shows a very suspicious behavior of, of Novak since 2018. What I'm about to show you are some clips, starting with Wimbledon 2022, capturing him drinking from bottles given to him from his team live during matches. A few games after drinking from those bottles, Novak came back to life. His tennis is air-free, and his physicality goes through the roof. Hmm. He does it over and over and over again. Okay, okay, uh, we're on to you, dude. This is one we saw. He's definitely huffing, man. He's also the uh, number one tennis player in the world. He is? Yeah, right. Novak yeah. Djokovic. He's massive. Let's see, he's got to be under so much scrutiny then. I think there's a, a reasonable <laughs> explanation, but I'm... He's done this before, where he's huffing from the water. See, he's currently number three, but in the past he was number one. Idiot. Why is he huffing from the bottle? That is so odd. He receives a towel. Yes, a towel. Strange, right? Here's a towel for you, sir. Okay, what's in the towel? Hmm, towels are provided by the tournament. Why would you need your own towel? This one might be a stretch. He, Novak's a, a weird guy. Like, whenever he would, would win Wimbledon, he would eat a piece of the grass. Like, he's got weird quirks and shit. Weird superstitions. Like the, myself, yes. The towel thing, we can see the same drink behavior in Rome. We got our eyes on you, Novak. Maybe he's just OCD, actually, and does all these, like, different rituals. It, it's quite possible. Um, he was notoriously, they wouldn't let him into certain tournaments because he did not believe in getting vaccinated. Oh, okay. He was um, that, I heard about that. Yeah. Know, yeah. He's like, bro, I don't take vaccine. Hell no. I just fucking shoot steroids up my gooch. Adrenochrome. <laughs> up my gooch. <laughs> it hits fast there. <laughs> I think. Gooch. I think you're doing too much with this video. Here, 2019, quarterfinals. Suspicious, suspicious behavior. <laughs> okay, so here's his team once again, preparing a special bottle. Why is it suspicious that this is a? This video is making him look innocent. Yeah, this. I mean, this whole thing is fucking dumb as shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, hater ass. I thought it was just Why, are, so why are we? Did though? you just see this TikTok and get spooked by it? Like, what? No, I thought it was. No, I was. No, I wasn't spooked by it. I was just like, it looks like he's cheating. <laughs> Look, yeah. why would they be so secretive? Yeah, yeah that's, it sense. is because interesting. It, why, why are six people hiding it? Like, not Look, this again, video, but he, the initial one Ethan th saw. It is like, what the fuck's going on? Well, again, they both stood up, like, right in front of the thing, then mixing it. It's like. What? The kids are watching, though. There's like two kids there watching what's happening. Look carefully. He's using tape to attach a drinking straw. <laughs> it's fucking crystal light. What does that matter? <laughs> what? What's with the straw? Why is he wearing a jacket? That <laughs> What's that hat there for? <laughs> Come on, Dan. That's not a lanyard on. Now it's time to pass it. Okay. Down to the, uh... I mean, the judges are seeing it. It's yeah. almost like this is totally normal part of the game. It's, it's 1,000%. <laughs> They're not being that discreet. <laughs> they, they literally just did it right behind the judge. The judge told him where to hand it. Yeah. 
He's in on it too. I do want to know what's in the bottle though, to be honest. It's probably some proprietary concoction is why they don't want people seeing it. Dietary supplement? Why would he deep? I don't know. I mean, that? this is top level elite athletes. Like, the, they, maybe they have some fucking, maybe it is baby blood in there. I don't want people to know. Magic algae. Yeah, it's the adrenochrome. From a special river. <laughs> okay, they're going back in for the mystery bottle. Why is he holding it down so low? Like, <laughs> now he's going in the backpack. Takes out a Wait, fresh freeze? bottle. Freeze frame? Freeze it. You want Hold me to it. freeze it? Yeah. Okay, so if you look closely here. Enhance. I think I can actually see right here. Yeah, don't don't look at the bottom right, people. Just be looking at my mouse up here. I think he I think he came in his pants. <laughs> Mm. Okay, you know you what? See that? Doesn't that look like a little gist stain right there? Is this lemonade gamer stuff? It is not. What it flavor? came in the bottle. Oh, it's <laughs> that's gamer stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, this Ooh. is some old stuff. Shooter on the Wouldn't grassy knoll. I think that was from the water talk. Uh, you guys are supposed to say yes. 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 Too late now. Too late now. <laughs> Thank well, we don't that. waste water bottles with gamer stuff, so we're, we we true. use these, baby. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Already ready to go? Already measured This man out. is doing spoonfuls of some shit, dude. What, what, what the fuck? Spoonfuls? <laughs> yeah, but protein powder? That probably tastes so fucking gross. It's a mod semen. That's what makes it <laughs> what a great What is this fucking player. schizo video that we found? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, yeah. It's like blue swirl territory. <laughs> To be totally honest, this is making him look more innocent. Yeah. <laughs> the further down the rabbit hole we go, the less sus any of this is. I think he might just be OCD or something. There's an explanation for this video uh, below. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he goes, people speculate that what he was squeezing into his mouth was not water. Duh. Similar situation occurred <laughs> 2020 as... Uh, he jokingly dismissed questions about it at the time, saying his bottle contained a magic potion. During the Q&A post-match, Novak was asked about what was in the bottle. Many professional players have been opting to take unmixed energy supplements or isotonic powder during matches. Apparently, mixing the supplement without water gives more of a buzz. Weird. Just doing rails of fucking... Monster yeah, powder. <laughs> just, just railing gamer stuff. <laughs> Let's go! But here's the thing, if he's really cheating, even the press is asking him, like, they would know, they would know. He's innocent. I think, I think we can put this one to bed. He's innocent. Case he's closed. such an extraordinary, like, athlete. Like, I, I love watching him play. Like, he's just unbelievably are you good. Big tennis? Oh, you are kind oh, of a goodness. tennis guy, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Members go up. Thank you so much for the 200. Hey, 200? Hey, 200. 200? That's awesome. Thank you so much. DPI. Oh, there it is. Okay, so he's uh he's innocent. He's innocent. This guy I've been wanting to talk about. I don't we don't have a lot of time, but there's this guy, um Secret Mizzy. Who we talk about people doing anything for clout. I mean, this is like that gone gone wrong. Um he was banned on TikTok. I'm surprised he hasn't been banned on YouTube. What the fuck's taking them so long? Check out what this guy does. This is one of several insane oh, videos. Yeah. Oh, it's on TikTok. Oh, God. TikTok has, like, simultaneously the strictest and the most insanely... Uh, James? rules to break. James? You man, come. Hello, James. We need to speak to James. James? Huh. Hi. Um, James. Yeah, there's kids there. Is this right, where the study group is? No. no. What the numbers this? No. Um, study group. If that was in America, he'd be dead. Dude, that's so. Wait, this is not where the study group. We got group. kids, man. Oh, you got kids. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought this was the study group. I actually thought. Yeah, it's just so, so fucked up. Uh, okay, so that's just one though. Epic. It's a pattern of behavior we're di talking about. Here he is stealing a woman's dog? Say what? That sounds super funny. Look.
Let's see, walked into a random house to harass the people living there and stole their dog. Sorry? You got a nice dog? She's lovely, she's a family dog. Don't run away. We're gang, hold on the gang. We're outside! I think... We're outside! I think, uh... We're outside! I think that's... I think you can murder someone for that. Every single time. Like genuinely, I think there's a law about stand your ground about with if someone takes your puppy, you can kill murder them. porn. Dude, that is insane. Then, video of him ripping up books in the library, super funny. That's awesome because you can just say just kidding, but you destroy all, all the. Boom! Puppy. We're in the library. Hey, you men are dragging it, but I'm trying to get. Why is this guy not banned from TikTok? Out here. I said rip but the and minute I mentioned James Charles, I get suspended for two months. In front of the people, then. Hey, fuck it, let's just do it. Any book? Right, come, 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 cameraman. I'm sorry, I'm just cool. Oh, excuse me, what can I, um, get a book here? Oh, sure. Just, uh, you're right. Yeah, fine, thank you. Um, uh, I just got a bit of, can I get this book please? Alright, okay, just one minute. TikTok. Wait, 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 Disturbing. Do these videos get views on TikTok? Does this man have fans? Says, I bet uh, they get removed. Let's see. He's been arrested, actually, for videos bothering people on the street and entering homes without permission. The Metropolitan Police have confirmed that they've arrested the 18-year-old in London on suspicion of causing a public nuisance. Oh, he's banned on TikTok. Hallelujah. So does this guy have any outlet? He did an interview, I don't care. Oh, he says this. I'm a black male doing these things. That's why there's such an uproar on the internet. Nice. I don't fake my pranks, but I always make sure to sort out the situation. You just ripped up a book. How are you going to sort that out? But none of my pranks have malicious intention. Dude, what? Oh my God, what a moron. The judge ordered Mizzy to not directly or indirectly post videos on the social media without documented consent of the people featured in the content. That he must not trespass into private property and they must not attend the Westfield Mall in Stratford. And he also has to pay $400. That's pretty light. He could still make videos. He appeared on Piers Morgan. The hell? This interview is crazy. Yeah, like every interview he's done, he's been kicked out of well i'm not surprised by that it's kind of his thing let's see it's outside, isn't it? it's a movement. but what's the deep movement? down what's the movement? deep down being free and not letting anyone tell you nothing that's why i can do all of this stuff i have to, i'm the most hated person on the internet right now no but, no 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 yes, most I people don't know who you are okay then <laughs> yes you, exactly you say in it whatever you say please. most people watch this will have never heard of you and care whatever you even say most. well now they are that you just put it to me no, they'll just now think they are, they'll, they'll just look at the way you're behaving now and they'll think yeah he's a complete moron uh, i don't know why pierce morgan thought this would be an interesting debate let's bring on the kid that like steals puppies and rips up library books and debate him about if his videos are good or not <laughs> <laughs> and you're a complete moron. You he should have did a poll. Me into this is like Pierce's uh, latest MO. We've kind of noticed this development in the last year or so. Like he just brings on shitty people and then berates them. I brought on today a murderer. I'm going to debate him if murder is justified <laughs> or not. Corrupting me when I'm trying to talk. Because you keep talking in this animated manner, trying to stop animated me asking man. you any questions. And then no. you say, is, is it because I'm black? Is no. it somehow? Here is Pierce Morgan in a fierce debate with the 18 year old. Degenerate. Good job, Pierce. Stunning. Uh, he was arrested again for violating the court order that was issued just a few days previous. The Metropolitan Police asked, said on Friday, 26 May, officers arrested an eight-year-old man again of suspicion of breach of criminal behavior order. <laughs> Here's the video of him getting arrested. Oh, shit, dude.
Huh? Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. I'm just going to explain the allegation to you, which is that you've uploaded two TikTok videos, or two Twitter videos. This guy is actually such a threat. The police know who he is. Oh, dude. Come on, you're 18. You got your whole life ahead of you. Got to be better ways. A uh, video was posted of Mizzy trying to hack a train in London. This is the first one I saw of him. That absolutely blew my fucking mind. Look at this. Hey, what, how did you get in there? Hey, let me get in here. <laughs> Yo, sir! Hey, hey, the man in the train! Hey, hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Just Hello? like GTA. <laughs> yeah. My boy just got five stars right now. Sick. As a prosecutor, he I love this video. <laughs> <laughs> like so epic. So freaking epic. I mean, 18 year olds are dumbasses, I guess, but goddamn. Is this what's going on over there in, in, in the UK? It's going on. Kids acting like idiots on the internet. Just, they don't have they don't have a mon monopoly on that over in the UK. The English are losing it. Sharple, that's not your ID. They're still <laughs> recovering from the fall of the empire. Uh, let's see. He appeared in court on three separate charges. He was accused of endangering safety. Judge Rose Edwin told Mizzy that he has shown blatant disregard for complying with court orders. Mizzy was granted bail and ordered into custody of his mother. Dude, these people are so soft. I feel like in America, he'd be in jail for like 15 years done. Like, bye, life was over. But America's fucked up. That's not a good thing, right? That is not a good thing, no. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like they're being a little soft on him, too. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the appropriate punishment would I mean, be for this. like going to people's house when their kid's there, stealing someone's puppy, going into the train operating room and yeah, pushing he's a, buttons. He's a hooligan, like... But I don't know. He needs a, I think that. he needs a little bit more. I mean, the train one. He needs. I guess a little... like if there was a possibility, he could accidentally like flip the wrong switch and get that <laughs> shit moving. That would yeah. be That'd be pretty, pretty bad. He. They pretty says bad. he was ordered into the custody of his mother. Yeah, he's eighteen. He was already living there. <laughs> go home. It's like time out where you get to go to your room and play video games. A prior arrest back in February, Mizzy posts a video in which he sneaks up behind an ultra-Orthodox Jewish man, puts his hands on his shoulder, and tries to jump over him. He was then arrested for racially aggravated assault, he said, but after 12 hours of custody, he was told he was being charged with criminal damage, but not a hate crime. Dude, that's crazy. This kid's got a rap sheet, man. There it is. Mizzy. Dan says he's a sweet kid at heart, and... Uh, and we love him. Dan loves him. Dan's ready. I don't know. To, uh, I just don't think you should go to jail for 15 years for honking, that's not what the, I for said. honking the horn. I agree. He needs a little something. He needs like maybe 30 days. Dan. That's what I would do. Sure. Uh, anything. Like, more, I wouldn't yeah. give him more than 30 days. Dan is jealous of me. At least you know the public would be safe for those 30 days. Damn. <laughs> All the people in that city lives in can like sleep for 30 days. Yeah, somebody in the chat said criminal tomfoolery. Charge him with that. Criminal Tom Ford. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm not trying to send him away either. <laughs> but the kid, he needs, a, he needs a little something. We need to send him to like Dr. Phil boot camp or something. <laughs> no, aren't those like crazy abuse? Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll molest him there. Oh, God. That'll teach him. <laughs> Stop. I hope you get ass cancer and <laughs> die, you son of a bitch. I'll cut your throat. I'll uh, come to your house and yeah, kill your those children. Are, <laughs> those places Jesus. are insane. Phil. Yeah, those places are worse than prison, man. <laughs> but, uh... Okay, free Mizzy. Free my boy. Free, free, Mizzy was innocent. He did nothing wrong. Free my boy. <laughs> He's just, boys will be boys. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to, uh, yeah, no. The train one in particular. The dog? Because of the potential. Yo, if somebody took my dog and ran off, oh, I'd I missed, want them dead. I missed the dog. I would the dog want them video dead. The dog video is so insane. Right, oh, I, 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 I would be in for a, and guess, then if somebody walked in my house with my kids there like that, scared my kids, dead, bro. Yeah, I feel you. It's not good. It's not good. Send him to the ranch. It's it's criminal tomfoolery. <laughs> Send him to the ranch. <laughs> He'll never come. He won't come back the same. I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. 
spend the evening with the uh, drill sergeant, find out what real punishment looked like. <laughs> and I no do. ranch. Come on down here, hope. Bob. Hey, boy, why don't you shine them chrome wheels for me to sit back here and watch you bend over like that? No ranch. Down here on the ranch, I tell you, man, some people come expecting to change for the better. I ain't never seen nothing like that on the ranch. I'll tell you, if these parents knew what really happened here, that's the place to be empty. But they keep sending them. We send them back. They just ain't the same. There's this boy, Mizzy. Come round here, the ranch, teach him a couple of lessons. Yeah, I taught him a couple of lessons. Mm. Took him out in the cornfield nearby, like. Just me and the boy, Rizzy, Mizzy. And we just picked corn and then cooked it and had a good old barbecue. Mm -hmm. We had, we just had a good time and then he went home and he was healed. And it was a happy ending for everybody. This suffers. <laughs> it was actually a super happy uh, ending. Mm -hmm. And he went home and he never did a crime again. And he went, yeah, uh, and he went to Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Got a PhD. Yep. Invented a new particle. <laughs> he discovered the change. Uh, in fact, uh, he invented anti gravity technology. Wizzy. We beat gravity. Folks. Wizzy. We beat gravity. Wizzy's in the chat. Wizzy's the man. Became uh, prime minister. Then he became pope. Pope, too? Yep, pope. What a life. What a journey. So we're very happy with the ranch's performance. It has a proven track record, and I think more kids need to be sent there. <laughs> we got the music playing us off. <laughs> we love him for that. <laughs> All right, listen, everybody. We had a fantastic episode. How long have we been going? Should we let's check in on uh, Malik before we leave real fast? Did he finish? He's still going. Uh, well, one of them is totally done. The other, as he pointed out, the handle is a little fucked. Um, one in a million. Uh, it's a one in a million. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I went and played around with it, and it does seem messed up, so I think he might actually be right about that. I just okay. went P in the other one, and that is completely functional. How's the door feel? Good? Wow. Feels good? The door it felt different. solid. It felt good. It honestly feels different. I'm gonna. It's going to take some getting used to to open and close that door, but I think we'll get there. I think we'll all yeah. do. Now we'll adapt, we'll overcome. We will be... Peeing and pooping in total nirvana in there. It's you know, uh, we got to have him on when he finishes the debrief on the project. Mm -hmm. The door fixing. Yeah, de <laughs> debrief? Yeah. Finish. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Although we should think of some really crazy fucked up project for him to work on. Yeah, well, he's local now, so. I know a dude with a prolapse who's trying to get a 3D image. <laughs> Seems it seemed into that. Somebody said no, it's over already. Or three and it's a half. It's been three hours. and a half hours, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's a three and a half hour show. I gave you all I've got. To be fair. <laughs> we, got we got stuff to do, people. AKA Zelda baby. Wait, what are you holding? His third switch. Why are you buying so many switches? What's happening? <laughs> I returned the other one I got so I could I'm like, if I'm gonna get a new switch, I might as well get the Zelda one. He got so. the he got yeah. the Official Zelda. Okay, one. you you returned the other one mm -hmm. so that you could get the one yeah. with the Zelda art on it. Correct. Because <laughs> I have a bunch of Zelda shit in Michigan, so I was like, oh, I might as well. Okay. Stay on theme. The collector's edition. Mm hmm. Real nerd shit. How is everybody doing in Zelda? I think I'm nearing the end. I gotta say, the last this You're last pushing weekend, through. I kinda pushed on with the main quests, and I'm not sure how much is left, but I've got. I did all the the temples. I got the whole crew with me you now, and uh, I'm on the last temple now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I, I haven't really done. I feel like I haven't gone at all. Still, they're still so still just much. running around doing yeah. shit. Yeah, I've done, I did a ton of side stuff, but I was starting to. I was like, okay, let's let's push on with the main quest. That's now. where I'm at, yeah. kind of. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the desert part. That temple's cool. I haven't got to the temple yet. It was maybe my favorite of the four. Okay, that's fun. Yeah. Is that the last one you did too? They kind of set it up where the furthest one 
We all did yeah, like I think the theoretically you can do them any order, but it definitely I don't know if the game adapts the difficulty, but the enemies in the last one felt they're definitely the strongest, stronger. So I, I think there's a preferred order that they kind of push you towards. I think they do adapt because now when I'm just walking around the normal area, like the goblins are stronger. Higher level. Maybe it does. Maybe it yeah. the world levels up with you. Diablo players, I'm trying to finish so I can play Diablo. Yeah. Yeah, all my buddies started that this past weekend. They were trying to get me to hop on and play. And it's like, I can't start Diablo when I'm still fucking obsessed with the Zelda game. No. One at a time. One. Listen, I'm a monogamous guy. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm committed. <laughs> K Caleb said, I don't have a lot of money, so this is probably the last time I can donate. Stop, dude. Hmm. Can we return that? Please don't do that, then. However, I want to put the Secrets of Hillsong documentary on Ethan's radar with peace and love. I better check it out, then. You went into poverty to make... <laughs> <laughs> Hillsong's like, that, uh, that Christian church that some call a cult. Oh. That, uh, What's his name? Bieber is involved. Oh, like all, all the celebrities go to it, right? It's like kind of the celebrity. Yo, okay, I. I've been trying. That's a hundred percent something I would want to watch. Thank yeah. you, Caleb. Uh, but please, please. No song. That's yeah. uh, the church that's Selena Gomez, Justin right. Bieber, Haley Bieber. I just learned about it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. This came. Oh, this just came out last month. How serendipitous. I'm gonna send this to Ela so we can watch it. Well, it's tonight. on the radar. Thank you, Caleb. Caleb? Yeah, it was Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. Yes, I'm sorry uh, that you can't afford lunch. If you now. can't afford to donate, uh, don't. That's my. I my wish I could cancel it. I think YouTube would have to do that. Charge do back. a chargeback. Yeah, charge back. Caleb, please charge back. I don't care. That's YouTube's problem. Charge back the fuck out of them. <laughs> Tell them someone stole your car. So that's probably illegal. Don't do that. Yeah, maybe don't. Do any fraud or anything? But. Don't don't break yeah don't break the law. <laughs> but yeah but you know op operate in the gray space. That's not fraud. All right guys, what a show it's been. What a show. So much fun, so much laughs. Oh, there's a Chris Pratt scandal, Olivia. You got to look into. I haven't Apparently, even heard about it. Uh, like a triple A actor was like being super homophobic or transphobic. I don't remember what to someone on the crew. And it was Chris Pratt. It's apparently allegedly Chris it. Pratt. He's there have been rumors that he has um, conservative beliefs. Oh, he is for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. But but and look he's into super that. religious too, isn't he? Yeah. 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 yeah I'll totally look into it. It sounded really interesting. What? It, I don't. I look Chris Pratt scandal and I don't see anything. It's probably just a TikTok. It's probably just a do do moi post. <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably just no. TikTok. Huge news though. Now look into it. I, I, there's I something will, I there. Will. There's yeah. something there. Thank you, Lucky B, for the dono or the gifted. Thank you, everyone who gifted and donated. Appreciate you all so very much. Uh, thank you to all of our members. I'm sorry that there won't be an episode for members tomorrow, but I promise you, I'll be in a great faith negotiations with my new best friend. Who I will never disparage again. Also, there was a, a long BTS we put out last Friday. If you haven't watched that, so that's something. Oh, new BTS out there. Yeah. And uh, so we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great night. Have a great tomorrow. And we'll see you. Oh yeah, it was the Elliot Page thing. It was with Elliot Page. Hmm. I don't know if he said. I think oh, Elliot wait, Page I saw came that out with quote, a new book. So people think that that was Chris Pratt. Yes. So this was in Elliot Page's new book, together? and people are guessing. Okay, yes. Oh. Elliot Page wrote about how some triple A actor was like insanely. Wow. I don't know if it was homophobic or transphobic because I don't remember the exact quote, but it was like super fucked up. Damn. And I guess he was on a show with Chris or movie with Chris Pratt around that time. Yeah, I'm looking up to see what. Right, I read that was like. Um, didn't he say like I, I could fuck you straight or something? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I could fuck you straight. Are you kidding? Yeah. That's what that's what this person said. Uh oh. That yeah, is so gross. I don't, I'm not, yeah. Let's look into it. We'll talk yeah, about yeah, it all yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. seeing anything. Allegedly, pop up right allegedly, away that they allegedly. Work together, so. Well, we'll 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 check it out. Anyway, guys, thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you on Wednesday. God bless. Stay good. Be good. And uh Stay off the murder porn. Please. No murder porn. And please. Don't jizz in your pants.